This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, it's Alex. Yes, actually, we're starting this show. It's only going to be a short show on the video, about 45 minutes. It would seem about an hour and a half. Because what I had to do is I had to start the show again because as I explained to our citizens panel, who you will see here in just a moment, um, I, uh, I, I had uh, uh, Windows upgrade me today. And then when it upgraded, it turned all my, uh, you know, all the things that I have set in my uh, video switcher here, it just completely undid them. So thank you very much, Windows. Fuck you. So. Yeah, boy. Yeah. It's, it's not fun. It's not fun. Anyway, so I'm doing this so we have a nice clean show, right? But you didn't hear the interview with Larry Bubbles Brown, but you can always go over to our uh, On Demand if you want to hear the interview with Larry Bubbles Brown. Okay? So, anyway, how are you guys doing? Good. Good. You? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, uh, Rob, you wrote me. I wrote you back. I, I haven't had that address for quite a while. Yeah, just, it still didn't work with what you sent me. What? Yeah, I couldn't get it to, with either one of those addresses and the password that you that I told you. It didn't work. Really? Could Holy. be because I tried a bunch of times. The account got locked out. Oh, really? Uh, Could be. Uh, Don't know so, for a fact. So, so now we're locked out. Let me let me see here. Let me see what my. Uh, what my name is on there? Uh, this is uh, what was it? What was it? We were trying to get audio blocks. Yeah, yeah, audio blocks. Uh, yeah, um, it's um, well. I uh, see what the password is here, uh, and uh, I, I, it, um, okay. Let me let me go over to it. I'll tell you in a second what the name is. I, I can tell everybody what the name is, but. Uh, um, um, audio blocks is what we use, folks, to uh, uh, p play this, uh, you know, use our music because I pay for it every year. And it's all music we can use. It's royalty free music. Well, it's not royalty free. We pay them. I pay them 119 bucks a year. So, you know, uh, let me see here. My name that I use is uh, Dashboard. Let me look. Uh, let me see here. Where is it? Doesn't doesn't uh, my profile? Okay, my profile is yeah, it's the one at me dot com. Hmm. Okay. okay, and um, I'll send you the. Uh, in fact, right now I'll send you the. Um, uh, this should be still good, I think. Um, let me see here. Okay, um, I'll send it to you. Okay, that that should be the one you should try. Uh, did you did you just get the mail? Uh, this second. Yeah. Let me see. yeah. 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 See, we do business here on the air too, folks. Came to my phone. I heard. I felt it. And there it is. Ah, that's different from what it was. No, that's what it always has been. Or maybe I oh. changed. You know, I. No, I changed it. I changed it, but I changed it. I think while you were still doing promos and stuff, you used the you used it a couple of while back to use music for the promo you made up. Yeah, yeah. I went looking back in my email for um, for the password, and the one that I had in there was the one that I recently sent you. So it's different. Yeah, but it's it's the uh, it's uh, it's me dot com. That's the it's one you use. Yuck. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Anyway, so we got that solved. So now, is there anybody listening now that we have audio? Um, let me see here. Now we're starting to get some viewers. I'm so sorry, folks. You know, I, I, do you have this problem too, Rob, because you use computers a lot, that they just, they, they want to do, they do things you don't want them to do. Of course, all the time. 
Yeah. That happened to me last week when I had been away from the studio for a while and I came home from the trip and I had I was downstairs, you know, with the the, th the theater getting all that set up so I hadn't been up here. Yeah. I came up here and lo and behold the drivers for my monitors were all jacked and I everything was all fucked up because of a Windows update. Yeah. So uh, you, well, you know what you know what I like about Max. Uh and by the way, we can we could stand to have some more callers now. Um the thing I hate about Mac, like about Max is that if you, they you want to they want you to upgrade to the next thing or uh, or do an update, you have the choice, okay, whether you want to do it or not. Uh, you you don't just uh, they don't just you know just do it, okay. Uh, uh, it, it, and with with uh, Windows, when it go, when I want to sign off, it's I can't sign off unless I agree to update. So and if you and if you That's have things turned off, shut down. what? It's either it's either update and shut down or update and restart. I'll tell you the well, other thing it just it did tonight. I have a clock that I have up in the corner, a, a sweep hand <coughs> clock, right? Mm -hmm. Would you listen, uh, Mike? If you're gonna grunt and groan, turn off your mic or move the mic away from your face because it's all that smoking. <laughs> It probably is doing that to yeah. you. Yeah. Hello, Charlene. Mike, going to kill you. Yeah, yeah. You got well. It's too late for him to quit. How old are you, Mike? Sixty-three. Ah, have another pack on us. You know. <laughs> you know. What? Why didn't you ever stop smoking? Didn't you get well, the memo? <laughs> well, since I've become a diabetic, I can't drink anymore. So what else is to do? <laughs> What, kill yourself by doing something that's absolutely useless? Well, if I start drinking, I'd kill myself that way, too. Well, you could, stop, right? you could stop drinking, stop smoking. Why don't you do, like, alternate weeks? At least you'll, you'll even things out that way, right? You could do your lungs a break, then you give your liver and everything else <laughs> Let's a break. See. Wait a minute. Now, J Jeff, no. Jeff, Jeff you're, our, you're our health expert here. Uh, what do you think you'd be better doing, going back to drinking and quitting smoking or stay smoking and not Wait. drink? If you're diabetic, you can't drink anymore. Oh, because okay. Because one is too much sugar. Oh, okay. That's well, true. My solution. Yeah. My, my solution for you. Quit smoking. And, and I used to smoke many years ago. Yeah. And the way, and I tried to stop it many times, and it was very difficult. Yeah. But the one time I, I finally uh, made the final decision was I started exercising and exercising allows you to somehow make yourself feel better and smoke less well i uh, um i uh, i but the things i quit i never quit doing anything like that i mean i quit smoking years ago because i just decided that it was i was getting a little more difficult to go up a flight of stairs Actually, I had somebody on my show who gave me a breath test to see how my lung capacity was, and they said, you should quit smoking. And that next day, I went, I bought some of this uh, Bantron. It was yeah. a mm -hmm. pill, and I took that, and I quit. And I didn't say I was going to quit. I, my philosophy was, if you say you're going to quit, you're bound to lose. What I, what I said to myself was, I'm going to see how long I can go without smoking, and now it's been since, well, how many years is since 1982? Uh, um, oh, wow. 35. 35 years. And yet I went to a fucking doctor. I went to a, a urologist uh, who said, well, we really better do a, a cystoscopy and look at your bladder because, you know, you could have cancer. I said, from what? He says, from smoking. I said, I quit smoking 30 years ago. He said, that doesn't matter. You smoked an equivalent of two packs, uh, of, 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 what, uh, two, two packs a day, so that's uh, f uh, 40 pack years or something like that. And I said, then why the fuck did I quit? <laughs> Just so you could stick a, a, a big scope up my dick? You know? I said, it's ridiculous. And he looked at me like I was, I was crazy. But I wasn't crazy. You know, I mean, if I if I gave up having the the relief that I had in smoking, then let me have a little payoff on it.
by you saying, eh, good, you quit. We don't have to do a cystoscopy at least on you. You know, but no, no, he shoved that thing up my dick and I almost decided to go out and buy a pack of cigarettes and start smoking again. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how bad could it be if I, at my age, I'm going to be 78 in a few days? Oh, God. <laughs> What's wrong with that, Alex? Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, God. You know. Um, you, sound, you sound like my aunt, who's 95. But, she is but anyway, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be 78. Might be a good time to try heroin, you know, or start <laughs> smoking uh, so again. Weed. Huh? Smoke some weed. Well, I, I have that in the house all the time. Girlfriend is a habitual weed smoker. You know. I don't do it, though. Alex, does yeah. that help with neuropathy, the weed? No, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't do the weed. I, I, haven't, I haven't smoked. Dr. Bennett? Huh? No. Well, I, I, have ne I have neuropathy. Yeah. And it's driving me crazy. Like you have neuropathy. Well, I have, uh, I have um, um, uh, numb. My feet get numb. Yeah, yeah. and I, my hands get numb well, and tingly. Well, have you been checked for diabetes? Well, I have high A one C or something. Yeah, we see. I don't. I don't. I don't. That's sugar, sugar. That's the sugar. But before you get diabetic, like it's just high sugar. But they don't want me to get diabetic. Uh, my glucose level is about ninety nine, where it is the upper limit of of glucose. And I asked my doctor, "Do I have diabetes?" And he said, "No." He said, "You no, know, no way. Dr. Bennett, you're so much better than all these doctors. <laughs> Do you know they don't even explain that to me? I had to have an, a gentleman one time in a doctor's waiting room explain what numbers. They don't even tell you to what numbers to look for on the blood test. They Answer the copy. Well, I, it's supposed to be anywhere from 70 to 99. Mine's 100, I think, but that's not sufficient. I should know. write that down. It's not no, sufficient. No, my, my sugar count, every time I test it, it's between 100 and a night. It's usually Wait, about but, uh, Hold on a second. Uh, uh, Jeff, you're moving some stuff around. It's he's speaking. moving. Yeah. I don't, oh. Jeff, he's got a, a headset mic. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, the headset <laughs> mic. Move the headset mic away from your, your wherever it is. Like that? Yeah, because I, it's rubbing against your, yeah. Uh, His beard. My beard. <laughs> your, or but your yeah. beard. <laughs> I'm going to have to shave. <laughs> You're going to have to shave for the show. What were you going to say, Mike? <laughs> okay, with your, my diabetes, he wants me to have my sugar between 99 as the lowest yeah. point. The highest run about 115, 130. That's for diabetic, yeah. But anything, I had my sugar one time huh, down to about 78. Yeah, well, that's good. That's, no, it isn't. Not for me. Too low? Too darn low. Uh, too so low. I, get, I, I get headaches and everything. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. It's, time, it's time for uh, a big glass of orange juice. Yeah, but anyway, so, you know, what's good for you would be a low-carbohydrate diet because that's low in sugars. You know, but yeah. I uh, all I'm saying is I don't have uh, I, I don't have um, uh, 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 what do you call it? diabetes. And, and yet I have these, uh, you know, I have I have the symptoms of diabetes, so the, 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 you know, the neuropathy. But you can have neuropathy without, you know, without having uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, without having diabetes. So do you yeah. take Lyrica? Uh, well, no, I think it, it may not, those things may not work for me. I think what it's being caused by is I probably have a sciatic nerve. It happens more when I lie down than when I'm standing up. So, you know. Uh, so, uh, what is this? Welcome back to Alex Bennett's waiting room, for Christ's <laughs> sake. There we go Dr. Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Alex, surgery, please. Yeah. Get your uh, ass going to surgery. Let me see here. Uh, uh <laughs> Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Uh, let me see here. Oh, Phil is running late tonight, so we can have it be a Phil semi-free night. night? Semi-free night. Uh, I want to bring something up. I'm, I am I am just righteously pissed, okay? And uh, what are you pissed about, Alex? Well, let me just tell you what I'm pissed about. Uh, we found out today that, uh, uh, what's his name? Um uh, Al Franken is going to resign. Uh, and I am just, I'm livid over it. Because 
Uh, he's he's being forced uh -oh, to read papers. He, yeah, don't rattle around. Sorry. What are you, what were you gonna say, Rob? No, I was just trying to get his attention to tell him not to rattle papers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, um, it's our biggest enemy on this program: rattling things. Uh, we have, um, but I, I, you know, to begin with, Al Franken is a perfect example of, uh, you know, you don't give the same penalty to a kid who steals candy from a grocery store as you do to someone who just murdered somebody. Okay. And what we're doing with this is we are we are exacting that in, exacting kind of of, of uh, uh, penalty, uh, and the fact is that let's let's look at the Al Franken thing. We all know about the other f the big major charge against him. It was from a right wing woman uh, who really cannot be totally trusted because of her politics and the fact that we know she's out to get Al Franken. There are five other women who have come forward with everything from he touched my butt to uh, he tongue-kissed me. The one I really like is he tongue-kissed me and said, that's what stars do. And I guess this was when he was still, you know, not in the Senate. And he said, absolutely, categorically, I never said anything like that. That kind of thing never happened. That woman is lying Okay, but all these other people who are lining up to say, hey, you better quit the Senate, which is a whole bunch of them today, don't take that in. His word isn't worth shit. You know, and how many of these people who, uh, who came forward are political enemies of Al Franken, don't like his politics? You know, I mean, you know, we, I, I agree, you know, we want to believe the women it's it's uh, it, it's been it, it, they deserve to be paid attention to, but you know to give them weight over over the over the man who says it did not happen. I mean, he categorically said it did not happen. I never said anything like that. I would have never said anything like that. Uh, and yet he's being forced to go because. Uh, six women in Congress, or five women initially in Congress, uh, asked him to resign. One of which was somebody I had a great deal of respect for, but now I can righteously refer to her as a cunt, is Kristen Gillibrand. Mm. Who, you know, I mean, what are you doing? You, you were throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I mean, I hope all you Me Too people out there are really happy that you're losing one of the most ardent left-wingers in Congress and forcing him out of office rather yeah. than say, hey, you know, uh, that it, it, the things you did weren't nice, but they don't come up to the level. And my wife tonight said, where's the cutoff line? I said, the cutoff line is when you hurt somebody. The cutoff line is when you rape somebody or when you, you know, not when you accidentally maybe or even on purpose why, uh, touch their butt, you know. I I think what they're trying to do is to is to make it so that there's no pointing back because this Roy dude is going to get elected. He's going to become the senator from Alabama, and then they could they could you know first of all, the Republicans aren't going to really accept him, and if they get these folks that are there out now. They can say, look, we, uh, you know, you can't point the finger back at us. But you don't this throw, guy has to go. But you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, you know? But I mean, he's, he's tainted. That's it. He's tainted. But, he's, but that's all he is. He's well, tainted and he's accused. And that is the sum total of it. it it's no, no more or less than that. Hello, Patrick. Do you hear what we've been talking about? Um, I've been trying to get on the Skype for the last 35 minutes. Mm. It's the same bullshit that Rob brought up and that uh, uh, Kevin were talking about with these round circles and my password wasn't working. I had to make a new account. Now I got two fucking accounts. So all I heard was Al Franken resigning. And yeah. that was yeah. that was what I was doing, so. You know, but I mean, what, you know, uh, Conyers... The stuff he did was supposedly far worse, you know. I mean, why do we all 
equal all of these things with each other. I mean, Al Franken technically is getting the same penalty as as uh, Harvey Weinstein. Right. You uh, know. Right. Uh, mm. Yes. I mean, he's losing his job. He's being forced to resign. Um, he's being given the same penalty as Louis C.K. You know. Um, and Louis C.K. is getting the same penalty as Harvey Weinstein, and a, a whole diff. Nobody. Uh, the and trouble yet, is, you have a president the, hmm? who has more accusers. He has fifteen we'll of them. To, fifteen right, of them. And, and we're about to. Uh, uh, they're about to elect a senator who's uh, way more egregious in terms of what he's done and what we've heard from again more than one uh, victim. So what but, what you do is you if you don't like what Franken did you don't get rid of him because I don't think what he did was enough to leave office okay but maybe you do chastise him or you uh, uh, have some kind of you know statement you make about him and that he better be a good boy from here on in or whatever but what he did was so nothing you know it's the pictures the pictures of him. With with his hands out, but like she that. was awake. Looks she bad. knew the photo was being taken. The guy who took the picture said that that it was meant as a gag photo, and she was in on it. Yes, Patrick. Too late. I mean, once once the snowball gets rolling, yeah. Yes, it, it it you might be right. You might be wrong, Alex. I mean, we can sit here and agree with you or disagree. It doesn't matter. The snowball started, and anybody and everybody that's going to get well, tagged along the way here, I, I, I think the only one in Washington, honestly, that's not going to get hit by this is Mike Pence because he doesn't go anywhere without his wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing is, people laugh about that, but think about it. Who was probably the smartest person out there? Well, yeah, it's a hypocrite too. Yeah, but it, I, I understand that. But but the thing is, in this climate now, with what's going on, that's where he was smart. And it's not like he could have thought about this ahead of time. But every other person, and I mean, I'm even thinking for myself, in a in a work setting, would I go out to lunch with a female coworker, just the two of us? I don't think so. I think I would have a third person. Would you take a selfie now with anybody? Well, well your hands to yourself. I, yeah. Yeah, no more selfies. You know, that was Yeah, but what you're saying is you're referring to now. All this stuff has happened a long time yeah. ago, you know, at least a year ago to everybody, it seems like. Well, you a know, lot there's a couple of, them, a lot of, of these pretty things, close, but uh, it seems like a year or more. A lot of these things that happened happened some, as much as 40 years ago. Yeah, exactly. And there was a whole different climate, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, what, you, what you're saying is you're, you're saying, well, well you know, let, let's have a cutoff date on this. You know, when is yeah. the social cutoff date on this crap? You know, I mean, you look, know, if it happened it, it a would, while ago, it, yeah, I always considered it wrong. OK, even when I was a kid and I was always bothered by guys who do locker room talk and stuff like that yeah. or talk trash about some woman. Uh, you know, I always was against that personally. But at the time they were in an atmosphere where that was allowed. It was considered okay. Yep. And and so to then say, to, it's like saying to somebody, you know, I, I'll i tell you what I, these me, the Me Too thing, I equate it to. And a lot of you weren't here for that. And that was the Communist Scare and the yeah. House on American Activities Subcommittee and accusing people of being communists and not having to prove that they are, just say that they are, and then they lose their jobs and... And so forth. And why? Because maybe they were a member of the Communist Party 30 years earlier. All right? So this is the same thing. I see no, I was so upset by that whole House on American Activities subcommittee and that whole communist witch hunt that went on in this country that I failed to see the difference between that witch hunt and this witch hunt. Well, it's different. No, it's not different in its tone. 
because its tone is to accuse somebody, and when they're accused, they are out of work, they've lost their job, they will not work for years and years, if ever again, and all because simply they were accused. And that's what they did in the communist era as well. And so I consider a lot, I consider this Me Too movement to be actually a bigoted movement, and I consider it to be, you know, I, I think, yes, it's important. Women should speak up. They should have spoken up. They should have talked up all those years. And don't give me this thing about people have power and you're afraid to fight the power. Hey, that goes for everybody who ever had a fucking job, okay? The boss who didn't treat you right, but you never told him to shut the fuck up, right? Because you didn't want to lose your job. Uh, you know, but if you don't stand up for yourself, then you can't bitch 30 years later. Right. You know, I'm sorry. And I, I, I know I sound politically incorrect, and I don't give a shit. I am <laughs> sick of how men. Many, how, many of us, how many of us stole a candy bar from a store when we were a kid? I never stole. Then, I, I, well, I, you know, I did. Yeah, I and never stole. What What happens if uh, you're applying for a job 40 years later oh, and been... they say, you know, we can't hire you because of that? Oh, or what, what you if... get, you're hired and you get fired because you stole that candy bar in 19... What, what if they you know, find out you stole that candy bar and say, we're going to give you the same sentence as a killer? Exactly. Or, or just you lose your job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's bringing up old shit. Okay, you bring it up, it happened, you get oh, chastised for it, up. and then move on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I understand the more recent stuff, and I don't think there's nothing hey, wrong with want, coming if out. If you want to say, you know, starting a year or so ago, this new ethic applies. Yeah. You know, uh, and, line and, and put everybody on notice that this is where the line is. Then Lining. I think... That's why, that's why I brought up several times that my line was drawn 10, 12 years ago when I started with this company I worked for. And they made it very clear that this kind of stuff that we're talking about today won't happen or you're out. Right. 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 Yes. Uh, Rob. No, uh, Patrick. Uh, Patrick. Oh, pa Patrick. Sorry, I jumped in there, Pat. No, that's, that's fine. My switcher is covering your face, uh, Patrick, so I couldn't see your hand. <laughs> yes. Are you more important than, than me? Huh? <laughs> Are you more important than me? Are you talking now? Well, no, I have to. I, it, it's a matter of seeing what's going on here. You know. Well, what, what the fuck? Now, you know, I'm crippled, and now you you don't even look at me. You um, too. You too. Yeah. Hashtag you too. Um, I agree that, that things need to be taken into context of when they happen. The, the, the one... Thing that I I don't think there should be a statute or limitation would be rape. Oh yes, absolutely. But something like a pat on the ass or something like I mean, uh, I'll give you an example. Um, I was watching. Do you remember the television show NYPD Blue? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this would have been an episode from 1995-ish. Mm -hmm. And one of the characters was in the hospital, and another one, uh, another cop, said to the guy in the hospital, "Hey, when the nurses come by, give them a pinch on the ass. They like that." And I mean, I have seen that episode years ago and never thought anything about it. And now, if that were to be on any show, you know that that would be a big fucking problem but here we go that was 1995 it was a different it was just a pin down the ass a slap on it something like that and that's it and is it right no i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't do that but do you fire somebody over that i don't know i i mean, I, I, I don't think so but anyway uh, uh, um yes uh <laughs> uh charlene well, you know, whatever Patrick just said, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, so, you know, women now have pushed it to, so, like, we're aware now that, you know, this is not good for Al Franken in this day and age, even though he did it a long time ago. You don't go up to a woman, even though you think it's funny, in a picture, 
and make a joke, okay, you know, and put your hands on your tits and whatever. But, like, it's it's getting, like, too much now. They're like, okay, we all get the point now, the Me Too and all that, but slow down a little because it's getting ridiculous that, uh, you know, it's just going too far now that, like, it, I mean, you know. It, well, it's, it's getting to the point. Me. Look, look, we're losing yeah. in Congress. And I'm not a right. big fan of Al Franken. Uh, ever since he used to beat me all the time at pinball, I have never been a fan <laughs> of his. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I, I'm not a big fan of, of Al Franken uh, as, a, uh, as a person, as a personality. But I have to admit that as a voice in Congress, he surprised me. You know, he mm-hmm. was far more vociferous, far more decent in his politics than uh, most of his fellow Democrats, you know. And um, uh, it, it just makes me want to just scream when I hear that somebody like Kirsten Gillibrand, who I, I've had nothing but a lot of respect for, is leading this lynch mob. You know, especially her, who knows the value of having someone with Franken's voice in the Senate. And, uh, you know, for, I'm never. She's never getting my vote again, and neither is Schumer. But I expect Schumer. I know to, Schumer is against him. Yeah, but Schumer will be go any way the wind blows. Schumer yeah. is a political fucking whore. Always has <laughs> been. Always will be. And his niece is a lousy comic. So anyway, you know. <laughs> Oh, Amy is a Schumer. I, I wondered about <laughs> yes, that. Yes, this is neat. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Patrick. See, uh, and I think um, if, if the idea is to get rid of all of the men, and I mean, I just wonder if Amy, even though she said it on, on uh, their show, I wonder if that's not an underlying current now, with like you said, with Yoga Brand and, and so many other women, that that may be an idea they have. And if that's the case, then I want to see all of the women look something like Megan Kelly, so that they got a nice set of tits, a nice ass. Yes. <laughs> oh. Then that's cool with me. I'll tell you one thing. Megan Kelly is one of the persons throwing gasoline on the fire. Yes, and to get ratings. Big time. In order to Big. get can ratings, I ask, yeah. Can I ask Patrick Sometimes something? she talks and she's got fire in her eyes, boy. And, you know. You're going to have fire in the bed, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patrick. By the way, do you watch that show? Hold on a second, uh, uh, Charlene. Uh, 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 do you watch? Uh, do you watch Megan Kelly's new show, Patrick? She's the worst interviewer I've ever seen on television. It's She's terrible. Terrible. She is ghastly. Yeah. But, yeah. It's, it, it, it's, I think it's hurting her. Yeah. That, her show on Fox was perfect. It was, it was a fast paced. Yeah. I, I, I watched one or two on. But, but, but um, you see, that, that was her format. Yep. This isn't yep. her format. No, you know, no. Do uh, having uh, having a talk show and then oh hey let's have a cooking segment. You know, it's not her. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right, right. Right. It's not her. <laughs> yes, Charlene, you had your hand up. No, I saw the show, and you're right, Alex. It's, it's terrible. She's like now she's like Kelly Ripa. But Patrick, I know you know she's your girl. She's beautiful. I I watched the show, and I I thought of you, Patrick, because she is a gorgeous woman. But like her nose is exquisite. Do you think it's hers or a nose job? A nose job. Oh, I thought. It's I have. Crazy. I have a. a Who I, I have a radar piece of radar equipment job? on nose jobs, <laughs> and she, it's called Marjorie. And she looked at her and said, "That's a nose job." Yeah. Okay. Yes, Patrick. Do you think I give a shit about her nose? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I made a joke. I said they're not <laughs> looking at her. Her nose is her. I know it's her boobs or whatever, but I was looking at her nose. Yeah, yeah it doesn't get in the way then when she's going down on me. Yeah. So, I mean, so. <laughs> I'm going, I am thinking it. Okay, that. see, now, 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 we're, now we're getting sexist here. We're, 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 we're objectifying <laughs> women. Absolutely. I'm going to objectify them because 
this is a witch hunt against men with and, and no there's no due process because we're not in a criminal court idea if it, it's a court of public opinion but you know i mean this is bullshit it it, it really has just metastasized and i don't think it's going to end anytime soon yeah by the way is everybody out there get, just write a note on the uh, on the thing here uh, are you getting the sound now? Because I want to make sure. Because the numbers are low on the watchers, and I think we lost a lot of people by not having audio for a half hour. Uh, but uh, we've—I think we solved the problem, and I just want to make sure that it's been solved. Um, yep. You know, there's I, audio. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, yes, Jeff. I think a lot about Franklin uh, as a uh, as. As a, not as a comedian, but as a senator, and and I thought the one thing that was his character was he was able to, he was able to open his mouth and say real things. Yeah. Very often, people in the Senate, their words come out, but they don't mean anything. They're mm -hmm. totally meaningless. His expression was always very much turning the question around. This is how it affects humans, other people. Well, and, and that was really important for me. Uh, and I don't know if that's changed for him at all. See, I don't know well, why he's quitting from this pressure. I would just stay the course because... It, yeah, I it, mean, he could, he could turn it around and use it a positive. <clears throat> they let him do it i think he would because you got he's willing to go through any kind of ethics you know review and all that other stuff and he could probably turn it around and make it a positive well if i he hope to. i hope all the women out there who have been uh, been chanting me too me too and we have one who works on this network as a matter of fact <laughs> who uh, should suddenly realize what they've done they've just lost maybe the most liberal voice in congress you know, and quite frankly, I didn't find real imagine that I would ever come to this and saying these sort of things about Franken because I wasn't a big fan. Okay, yeah. but nevertheless, he was an outspoken person when it came to these things, and he was consistent. He wasn't wavering one way or the other. You know, wherever the wind blew, and uh, I want people out there who are the women, the Me Tooers. To know that you just lost one of the best senators who could speak for your causes. You're, their you're, answer you've is literally, to put a woman in there. That's all their answer is. I, you've sh you shot you shot yourself in the foot. Would you agree with me on that, Rob? Yeah, and it's a reason why the Democrats are losers. Because look on what's going on on the other side. Hey, we need the vote. We don't like that this guy fucked with little girls, but he <laughs> votes for the right things. Yeah, so so they'll get a senator, but we'll lose one. Right. That's you why know. we lose. I mean, you know, that 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 seat in well, the seat in Minnesota will go to somebody else appointed, I think, by the governor. That's how these things work, and it'll probably be a Democrat because they will do that in order to be fair. Um, but, you know, that seat could go to a Republican now. You fucking morons. Gillibrand, you fucking cunt. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I was so mad at her today because I have liked her over the years. I thought she was okay, you know? Not today. Yes, Patrick, behind my switcher. Behind your just put your hand up higher if you can uh, today. Yeah, yeah, okay. That, and, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's Zig Heil. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, 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 the problem that, that the Me Too groups are doing now is really no different than what had happened in the 60s with blacks or, or what, in many cases, is going on currently with uh Mexican, where you're painting everybody with the same brush. Yep. So all men are the same, all blacks are the same, all Hispanics are the same, all Irish are the same, all Italians. I mean, we're going back, you know, 100 years, 200 years immigration-wise, um, and it, you're setting back instead of moving forward. Yep. And you're losing track of individuals. 
individuals are what fucked up, not an entire group of people. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go after them, like you said earlier, uh, perhaps Franken get kicked off of whatever committee she's on as a punishment. But he's still a senator. You know, that sort of thing. Well, what he did, yes, Rob. I got to wonder why everybody is calling for Franken to step down. Why don't they use their their energy, their power to try to get rid of a president who is has more people convicted? Why why is it that it's okay that the president is there, but you can't be on our TV and you can't be Al Franken? Yep. What's up with that? Yeah, everybody's kind of ignoring that, and I don't get it. Yeah. Yes, uh, Charlene. You know, I saw the news right before the show, mm -hmm. and I don't know, like they said, there's a tweet that went out that everyone's saying, you know, in this tweet they said, hold on, why is everybody saying, you know, he's going to do announce something tomorrow. Do you think it's possible that he's not going to resign, or you, you think he has got it? Got a big um, announcement. What was that? He has a big announcement tomorrow. Right, well, I, I took it to mean that Don't I wish, I, and, and, and you know, I mean, it. It. I wish that he would come out there and say, "Everybody's calling for me to quit." But let me tell you, I don't. Most of these things did not happen, and that's that's what he's been saying. He said that the the, the latest one, especially this latest one, with him st sticking his tongue down somebody's throat and and then saying to them, "Well, you know, I'm a star and I can do that sort of thing." He said, he said categorically, I mean, it, was, it wasn't just a denial. It was, I wouldn't say that. It never happened. I don't know who this person is. It is categorically a lie. And you got Chris, Kirsten Gillibrand going, hey, hey, God, we want you out of here. And Schumer, the little toady, uh, doing the same thing. And, you know, I mean, if I had to take... If I had to throw somebody out of Congress that was a Democrat, it'd be Schumer before it would be Franken. You know, I think that's a good choice. So I mean, I, I hope I hope you women out there are really happy. You just shot yourself in the foot. You just got rid of an enemy. You just got rid of a of, of a friend of the of, of the core of the group rather than an enemy. Okay, right. but no, he's a guy, and you got to go cut off. You'll replace yeah, replace him with a woman. You know. Replace the whole world with women. I mean, the stupidest thing I ever heard was the other night Amy on her show said to me, said, uh, why don't they replace Matt Lauer with a woman? And I had to call her up and say, shut up. I said, have you looked at that show? There, an, If you it's got another woman. woman there, there'd be nothing but women on that show except for Al Roker, and we don't know what sex he is. Yeah. <laughs> He looks funny too. It looks like he's always looking over his shoulder lately too. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying that it's all it, it would be all women, and the same thing would be true if you replaced Charlie Rose with a woman. I'll no, tell you, you that show was already well, on the border for me, but l losing Lauer or a man, I guess you'd call it. Either way, it's changed massively. Oh yeah. The ratings are better though. Are they really? Are yeah. They? That's what I heard. Yeah, well, that surprises me. Right now, now. I, now they may be better because of the looky loo, yeah, of, right, you know, right. thing. Uh, That's why they were crying so much. Yeah, <laughs> so it, it may be it may be the looky loo factor that you know yeah, is, yeah. Is, is getting. Because I, I I don't think it's better. No, well I I don't watch it at all, so I don't know. I, know. I usually watch it. It's on in the background in the morning, but uh, I'll switch over to to Good Morning America or something like that, yeah. and I hate that format because it got people in the background clapping and all that bullshit. Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, I, I, I don't I watch any, any of those. Uh, hello to... Uh, uh, you've got to get into the center of your picture there. Uh, nah, she's Renee. just going to sit in the corner and yell at us. Uh, 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 come on, you got to get... <laughs> you got to get to the... You got to get to the... At least get to the left. Ah, you're to the right. You're to the right. You're the, to the right. Is that where your politics are? Oh, uh, Renee. Uh, so the problem is, is my computer's wet. My computer screen is wedged between my bed headboard and my printer, so it doesn't move. But so you, I actually have to move. You have to move. You have to physically have move. To. Otherwise, Physical. people won't be able to see your lovely punum out there. No, yeah. Well. So it's the it's the male whiners club again. I love the fact that you're equating Al Franken's stuff with with that shit. I was just like. 
let's let's have this conversation. We need to have it over and over again so people understand. Al Franken should not quit. Al Franken has apologized, and a couple of those women have graciously accept, accepted that apology. He's doing good work. Whether he's doing good work or not, there's a press. There's a process within the committees that he's allowed to go through, and until he goes through that, he should stay right where he is. But today, but today he was being forced out first by five women, including Kirsten Gillibrand. Okay. Right. And and but, that, then joined by Chuck Schumer and a bunch of other guys, I guess, who want to get laid. It, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He he needs to just say there's a difference between somebody an adolescent male's a, a reaction to a female and somebody who you know could be a pedophile. There's a huge chasm between those two, and there's a huge chasm. There's a pretty good chasm because. But, oh, but how do you how do you how do you feel that the the Me Too movement has come to the point where it we are throwing the baby out with the bathwater? No, no, no. How does it feel that there's so many of us that you people screw over on a daily goddamn basis, whether it's touching us or putting your arm around us? There are so many women out there that are telling you. Get back. Enough is enough. And you're not listening. Here we you're go. We're, general, we're generalizing. You're whining. You, 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 and, you and Amy can line us all up and cut off our dicks if you want. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, in fact, we'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. What we'll do right now with your permission, what we'll do right now with your permission is we'll all stand up and pull them out so you can cut them off. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your dick. No woman, unless she's married to you or your significant other, we don't care about your dick. We don't think about your dick. That's we what they all you. said till they saw mine. <laughs> we don't. We don't care. Yes, you just Pat don't yes, yes, Patrick. My female neurologist cares about my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Better and hope she, so. That's true. Okay, I stand corrected, but she gets paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another story there. <laughs> she's 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 paid to do that stuff. But well, what, well, you're not, what you're not doing is what Alex was talking about last week. We're not talking about the differences. There's no reason Al Franken should be treated the same way that they're well, treating. Bravo! I, 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 I applaud you there for that. Is, but but we have to talk about it. We have to talk about why there's different levels of this, yeah, no, but, and within but, our feelings, but, 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 and then within but, the okay, law. Okay, but would you agree that right now in the court of public opinion there are no gradations? There is no Harvey Weinstein and there is no Al Franken, you know, right. as two separate people. They're all lumped in. When I watch television and they show, uh, they're talking about all the guys who have, you know, uh, been uh, uh, accused of stuff. There's a there's a montage and there's Al Franken and there's uh, there's a uh, uh, you know Louis C.K. and there's B uh, Weinstein and they're not all the same. Right, it all has to they're be not. Needed, right? And, and they're not they're not the same they're not the same to a woman, they're not the same or excuse me, to a victim, and they're not the same within the eyes of the I mean, the law. does his and we're does not does does, does Franken's that. actions even come close to Matt Lauer's? Even close to what Matt Law no, Lauer's no, accused of done. Yes, that's Pat imprisonment. He locked the door. Patrick. My cat is hand up first. What? Oh, my. No, I, Patrick, go ahead. Go ahead, Patrick. All right. Um, the, the other one, I, I think you were talking with Marjorie about it the other night uh, with H.W. Uh, Bush. And uh, and that that's another one that cannot be put into the same category. No, because, because it could have been an accident. And, I mean, uh, well, he, it, but, and, and then again, maybe it wasn't. We don't know. <laughs> but it's a good excuse. It's right. <laughs> if you remember, Alex, a couple weeks ago, I had you put your arm around Marjorie as she was standing, and your arm rests naturally at the small of the back or at the top of the butt. That's because you're from a sitting position. Right. And that's like with me, if a woman hugs me 
She's bending down. I do my best to move my face out of the way. But <laughs> the rest happen to be there a lot of time. And it, and they understand that. And, I mean, you know, I'm not there motorboating. I'm respectful. <laughs> That's just the way it is. I mean, it, it's the position I'm in. I, and I can't change that. So and you got... That, what? what? You grew up faster than Al Franken did. So I mean, you got because. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, but it it unfortunately it's the way I am. This this is just how it is. And, and I mean, adolescent male. Somebody can choose you, to hug me or not. Here's what I don't understand. You know, and, and, you know if I were in Al Franken's position. What I would do is I would tomorrow hold that press conference and get really in everybody's face, not take any shit you know, about this. And here's the reason why. What? Here's the reason okay. why. Let's say he's not quitting tomorrow. Let's say he's going to quit tomorrow. Whatever happens, uh, he's toast if he doesn't do something. And he can do something now and not have to pay any more consequences than he's going to have to pay anyway. And, and just stand. start and start railing out against this and saying, you know, this is not true and this woman is lying. And here's the other part that bothers me. See, I understand that in cases of rape, wait a minute, I understand in cases of rape, they like to keep the victim's name quiet, okay? Allows her to speak freely and so on. But I don't think that counts for something like this. I think when I hear a woman does not want to be known, but she accused Al Franken of doing something, then fuck her. I want her to have the conviction. You know, when they go, me too? Well, me too shouldn't be me too, but don't mention my name. Okay, so he shouldn't, he shouldn't quit. That's the first thing. The okay. second thing is he should ask for the review in the committee, which is the good thing. And the third thing is, is that he needs to help set everybody's mindset about what is against the law and what an adolescent male did 30 years ago. So he needs to help start that conversation. And he can do that tomorrow at the press conference if he chooses to. And but, that's what he said he wanted to do, but he's yeah. now getting railroaded out. Yeah. Je Je Jeff? You know Je Jeff's, wait a minute, wait a minute. First, Patrick yeah. had his hand up and then Jeff. Okay, Patrick? Um, yeah. The other thing that I want done, much like you said with uh, the names, um, is the money that was used out of the coffers from the, uh, whatever it is, the congressional um, committee that they all have their own money that they were paying out. Mm -hmm. I want to know where that fucking money went because that's our money at taxpayers. <laughs> and if it's hush money, I don't give a shit. Because I want it we back. Know they are. I don't care what party they're from. I want to know. And if it's yep. Ted Cruz that I like or somebody else, I want to fucking know. Period. Yeah. I do and, want to And I'd I like to have them pay it back. Exactly. Or take away their goddamn health care until they do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Jeff, you had your hand up. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking that I wonder how much his family, his wife, whoever have uh, made him to make a decision that uh, that uh, may not be the senator's decision but, but well I'm sure he, I'm sure he discussed it with his choice. family but I I think that I yeah. think he's in an enviable position if, if, if you can call it that where he can make a statement about this about so. about just these, oh, these baseless man. about the oh, fact man. that baseless claims can fall through the cracks in all of this and people can be hurt by it and that in his case win. what no but won't win. Uh, it doesn't he, matter there's nothing to win or lose he's going to be out of there anyway get what well, i'm if saying if he doesn't quit tomorrow and he takes that tactic he's gone anyway <laughs> if he does quit tomorrow and he does that he's just going to burn every I mean, freaking bridge because it's going to piss off every other one of them that are already yelling about well, him in the first place. You know, I'm, I, I'm just beginning to, to believe that we guys should start standing up now. Yes, Rob? I think you yeah. should walk up to that microphone tomorrow, staunch, wearing that pussy hat. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And maybe, nice, Rob. I like that. That was maybe, good. You know, Rob, you know, you said wear the pussy hat. I saw a clip of him on the news tonight, and I think it's like... Um, 
he he's such a nice guy, Al Franken, that he's you know I hope he doesn't resign, but maybe he'll resign because he feels so bad about what he did really, and it's it's sad because you know then he is a pussy because. You know, this is ridiculous. He should that, not that's resign. That's true. Well, I mean, well, he, 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 he certainly can say what he wants to say. Who, I wonder who this is calling by phone here. Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? Are you there, unknown phone? Hello? Hello. Who's this? Hello. Who is this? Allison. Allison, are you listening to our program? Yes, I am. Okay, you have a comment about this, Allison? No, I'm just too depressed to, to say anything. Depressed? I'm going about... into surgery tomorrow. I'm just listening. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, oh, so, yeah. so why did you call the program? I wanted to listen to you. Yeah. Oh, well, you, you can listen on the, on the Internet. I would like to... Well, I just called into you. Well, how, uh, what, kind of, what kind of surgery are you going in for tomorrow? I have cancer. I'm going in for a hysterectomy. Oh, oh well, I'm sorry to hear about that. But, you Thank know, you. at least the prognosis on those things are usually okay. You know? So, uh, uh, we wish you Uterine all... Uterine cancer. Yeah, yeah, we wish you all the, uh, all the, all the best, you know? And uh, well, thank you. if you want to listen, go go to gabnet.net. Just go on to gabnet.net, and right there, as soon as you get to there, the sound will be up, and you'll be on, okay? You'll be able to hear your, okay. hear your stuff, okay? Okay, good Thank luck. Bye-bye. Um, uh, See, I, I do believe that Al, this is this thing could be that Al Franken should stay until due process, stay all the way through in his current job through the due process. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, if he decides he wants to leave, then I think every <clears throat> everything has been supported. And he's done... See, in this country, you're innocent until proven guilty, and throwing him out of out right now that doesn't work for innocent proven guilty. Yeah, I I, I agree with that, and uh, you know. Anyway, Jeff, I'm glad you feel that way, Renee. It's a very I, I, I thought you might have a slightly different opinion. Right, Hi, Bree. How are you this evening? Hello. Yeah, there's I'm good. How are you? Yes. Hold on a second, Bree. Jeff has his hand up. Let me listen to Jeff, sure. and we'll talk with you. Yeah, my one little thing is that I I always look at this that all of these other senators that they're not his boss. I don't care who they are. The Senate guy was uh, selected by people in the state of Minneapolis, and they're the in, ones in that the, you throw them out. And it's their job yeah. to throw them out. Not not all of that. Three letter ladies and the, you know, the senator that you mentioned. Uh, would you say they the same? Would, would you say just the, shut up? Would you say the same thing about Moore though if he gets elected? Absolutely, yeah. it's the same problem. Yeah, he's and and you know I don't. A lot of people no, no, don't Moore, like him. Moore's not, wait, Moore's <laughs> not being accused of. Of being an adolescent male and doing stupid <laughs> shit. No, no, but he's being he, no, but he he is simply he's being accused. All the people down there know what he's been accused of. If they still elect him, do we then have to accept him as a senator? And that's ex and are they the people Absolutely. who should who should it's put him out rules. of a job? You want a pedophile making laws? No, wait no. a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. For, to begin oh, with, I Renee, know. Renee, Renee, and I don't want to defend. Uh, Roy Moore at all? Excuse okay, me, he's pedophile. an alleged pedophile. Alleged. Okay. Pedophile. Yeah. yeah. Uh, using and just that, what you said that we elected the president. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. See, very that, what? I'd love to talk what, to what, this woman. What did you say? Wait a minute. The world is becoming unhinged. It doesn't yeah. matter anymore. Morals don't matter anymore. It. It. I mean, all this religious right. Who screamed and yelled because there was a nipple slip for Janet Jackson? Now all of this crap <laughs> elected a president with, I mean, not just one or two people to come out. And this guy, Roy uh, Moore, has has all these people coming out. What matters are the politics and not what he did. We don't like him, but we like what he votes for. Yeah. Uh, let, let, me to, let me go to let me go to Bree because Bree called. Obviously, he wants to get his piece of the action. Yes, Bree. Well, you know, Alex, I think that uh, the what what Al Frank, what everybody could do. Well, first, 
first of all, do you think it ends here? No. If, if we set a precedent right now today that, okay, everybody who has committed, has done something bad, is going to have to leave the Senate or the Congress or leave public life, if we continue down this road, there, there's, there won't be anybody left It'll be <laughs> to govern anything. Donald Trump. The only people, there. Donald Trump will be there. The only people who are going to be left are those people who fight, fight, fight and say, no, 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 this didn't happen, and I stand for the right things. But what I think is that you know, if Al Franken is to resign, then I think he could run again. If he wins, the, it seems like the election is the purifier. If you win the election, nothing counts. Because they always say, hey, Trump did this, Trump that. And they, nope, the American people voted. And this is how it is. Yep. By the way, I slept with my emergency uh, packet last night, uh, which me. I do whenever uh, I'm unsure of how things are going. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have this like, in case there's a fire, I guess. But I had it last night because of Trump's announcement. <laughs> so I had to. Yeah. Oh, I have it's to. Real? Israel. I yeah. sleep with my passport let's, let's, let's and my wallet people, now. Let's tell people. Let's tell people because Bree is uh, calling us from Dubai or Dubai, as he calls Dubai. it. Uh, we're we're fairly safe here, and uh, I'm thankful for that. That I, I believe you, that you, the authorities here were on a tight ship. Do you think, as a result of uh, of that uh, decision by our president, there's a chance the whole Middle East is going to blow up? Uh, well, sure, sure. There's all there's a chance of that um i'm not sure where he's going with it uh i the only thing i can think of is he's kind of playing a game of chicken uh and he's you know hoping to be the winner of that uh but in the in the short term uh we are on tender hooks over here because yeah. you just don't know you have to hope that cooler heads prevail but that's not been a, that's, but, is. that's not been a part of the world where cooler heads have prevailed, you know. Right. Uh, because this <clears throat> right. uh, this is uh, this is religious zealots, you know, uh, deciding what they're going to fight for and not fight for. Uh, uh, Mike has his hand up. Yes, Mike. You know, to me, when he made that announcement saying that "quote unquote" Jerusalem was the capital, which he doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. Tel Aviv has always been the capital. It always will be the capital, and that asshole does not know his history. Period. Well, he's he's I don't give a yeah. shit. he's he's involving himself in the uh, in in another the country's in another country's decisions, and he's doing it to keep his little butt buddy, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, the prime minister, uh, yeah, uh, uh, happy. <laughs> you know, but to me, it's wrong. He's causing more friction in the world yeah. by opening his mouth and saying, oh, I'm going to be able to dance down to Jerusalem. Leave it alone where it belongs, in, in Tel Aviv, not in Jerusalem. Yes. You asshole. He's, you it's it's, it's, it's just life. stirring up emotions, and, and that's the, we can't we shouldn't have that now. Next is, 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 uh, is Charlene, and after that is Patrick. Yes, Charlene. I saw in the news now, um, Bree. I saw like unrest going on. Like they they have a they hate Trump now, and and is is that what they hate him now? They took him this long. Well, I mean, like they they have a picture pictures of him, and they, you know, they're like, uh, you know, there's rioting somewhere. Like, it, it, what country is that? And is Dubai? Well, right well, Renee, they he made this announcement. Oh last night which was around 11 p.m our time so i went to sleep and i just woke up recently so uh you know i, I was i was prepared if anything happened um they have but unrest. i haven't had it but i haven't had a chance to take a look at that remember we are just waking up here in this part of the oh, world it okay. is 8 30 a 8 40 a.m here and to the west of me which would include the territories that are under concern uh, i think it's like 6 30 a.m so they're literally just waking up i think when everybody asks the question who's going to benefit the most from these moves it's putin it's putin it is absolutely going to be a 
a windfall for Russian oil, Russian energy. It's Putin. Um, would you would you agree with that, Debris? Um, I I'm not quite certain about that. You have to understand in this region. Uh, Russians and Americans are kind of the same. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> That's good. I don't like that one. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of connectivity problem, but mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. But uh, uh, you know, I mean, I think that was uh, it was it was a very rash move on his part, very unwise, and and the rest of the world told him, "Don't do it." You no, know, no, do no, not do it. He uh, has to open his big Donald, mouth. Donald Trump has opened his big mouth. Um, he, well, we're going to do this, I, and no one's going to stop me. Yeah. Uh, he, know, we, we, it, we've been joined. What? Is it me, or does it seem because because uh, the only thing he really won, the only thing he got out of this, mm -hmm. because he still signed the waivers, right? We yeah. all know that Jerusalem is what Netanyahu wants to be the capital. Yeah. He, didn't, he didn't talk about, uh, he talked about still forming a peace agreement between the Palestinians and the and the Israelis. Mm -hmm. So there was no discussion of any kind of borders or boundaries or anything. And the only thing he did was to come through with a campaign promise, to promise his base something that he said in the campaign, right? right. So he accomplished nothing but that. But is it possible that he's doing this now because of all the crap that's going on with the Russia investigation and with Mueller? Mm -hmm. By the way, we have a full house now, I should mention. Can I ask a question? Um, yeah. Rob, you said, you know, he's accomplishing this, uh, you know, campaign promise. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the promise was that the embassy would be moved there. So until, did he say that the embassy was moving there tomorrow? No. I mean, no. It, is it? It will okay. be many, so many. It would be several. Changed? It'll be several years he before. About, that. He talked about getting an architect and and building this, you know, beautiful structure in Jerusalem. Oh, you mean the wall on the Mexican border? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> insisting a lot, and, and you know he, what I'm saying? He hasn't done anything. Yeah. Well, uh, by the way, let me ask you this. Uh, and Tim's joined us, by the way. Uh, um, um, in Dubai, uh, doesn't Trump have a few properties there? Yes, he does. Or, or, or alleged properties, because sometimes he doesn't own them; he just puts his name on them. Are right. they? Are That's they? Are does. they not major targets right now? Um, yeah, that is very difficult for me to assess. Mm -hmm. I just—it's such a—it is so unbelievably complex. You know, it's—it's it's kind of like the way that Trump operates in New York. You know, on one hand. He makes a lot of African Americans upset, but then he's friends with uh, what's his name? Um, oh, you know who I'm thinking about, that uh, Reverend Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton, Sharp. uh, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Alex, well, he, I don't know like that a he's consummate New Yorker. Well, I mean, he he he, he, he he has to have done some kind of interaction with Sharpton because he, Sharpton's in New York, and and as you say. Uh, unfortunately, Donald Trump is one of the consummate New Yorkers. Right. So, so on the, on the individual level, he makes connections with people. You know, he, he's he's really good at. You know how, like, if you are a, if you're a, uh, a guy and you're accused of something, it's what you hire a woman attorney, or if you, you know, he's very good about knowing which pieces of the on the chessboard he needs to pull in order to get away with a larger action based on his relationship with another yeah so you know that's what he's good at doing yeah yeah hey hey alex yes uh, this is tim yeah. I, I agree with uh with renee and also rob that uh he got this was a the hugest bargaining chip we had in the middle east for several decades, and he just gave away the bank. Absolutely. He should have got negotiate. He's the worst negotiator in the world. He did the exact same thing with the TPP. Yep. He he should have used that as a bargaining chip. Now his whirlwind tour 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 to Asia, he got nothing except humiliated and uh, treated like a king, like he likes. 
he's not going to be able to solve the North Korea crisis. The guy is he's simple minded and so narcissistic. It's just sad. Did anybody watch him at the end of his speech, how he slurred his words? Yeah, I heard that. Uh, at the very end, he couldn't even say the United States. Yeah. He said, like, possible and possibilities. And, uh, oh, yeah, I, I wondered what he was saying. It, 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 I, I th- it's, uh, coincidentally, the you know, USAjobs.gov just posted six vacancies for food tasters for the White House. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm not being sarcastic, and I know I shouldn't be, but he's going be, to have to watch his back now. Charlene? I, I just wanted to do a fast one. He isn't allowed to set foot in England. You know, they're very smart, right? Yeah. I mean, and look what he did to them over there. Like, they're already at Target. And yeah. then he says, you know, stupid shit. And now they don't want him at the royal wedding, and they don't want him to come. He was going to make some visit. So he's, like, alienated, you yeah. know, all these countries now. I mean, now he had to he start with the Israel thing. Yeah. You know, it started on the first day after the inauguration. That he, you know, uh, he's alienating us with all these other yeah. countries, and he, he's going to get us into some kind of war situation or something, maybe, right? Bree, what are you moving? Like, what are you moving around for? Oh, you can see me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like Kissinger and Cheney. They're not allowed in some countries either. Well, but Charlene, he alienated all of our allies first. Right. He, right. After Mexico. He went after Canada. He embarrassed us in France right, and all right, around France. the rest. Of the place. So now he's. We have no. We're going to be standing alone pretty soon, or somebody's going exactly. to take care of us. Um, it's like us against the world, like and you know. <coughs> yeah. The crane's gone. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We see Dubai out there at the window. Yeah. As as long as that building's still standing, we don't know what's going to happen. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, I think we're okay here. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, Alex, do you know how um, some people, when you, like, what, I, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this, but sometimes, and this happens a lot, like, in relationships, but, like, one person doesn't want to talk to the other person, like, ever to see them. And so what the other person will do is create situations whereby they're sort of forced to interact with them, even though they don't want to. You know, like kind of almost passive aggressiveness in a way. Yeah. And so maybe Trump is doing that. He, uh, you know, or or maybe you're in your car and like you can't drive forward or reverse. So you try to turn left or right, <laughs> even though it's, you know, there's no road there. You just want to keep moving. Yeah. And so I think sometimes, uh, you know, maybe that's like what Trump does. If he if he feels that. um you know, if he feels I was I was trying to move to get to a better Wi Fi. Uh, yeah. my Wi Fi router is here. So yeah. but I think he just he tries to stir the pot, stir the mud, just to get things going. He's kinda like, Well, you know, I, this isn't working, that isn't working, let's try this, you know. Yeah. And uh, he just wants to see motion, action, something, uh, you know, versus nothing. And it's I don't know. I just don't know what it will mean and i don't think he knows what it will mean except it will be different and he'll get a lot of media on it yeah yep 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 well yes mike i understand it's going to take like, like three years to move the quote unquote where it is now tel aviv to where it's, huh at a minimum <clears throat> yeah three years and how many millions of dollars to redo yeah, that talking more like 10 yeah. Dan, no one Trump will probably have the Trump construction company out there working. But we pay, right? The United States has exactly. to pay the embassy, right? Exactly. We, we get stuck with the bill. You know what we do? What we do, is what, he, what he's done here is he has created the perfect storm. In other words, he's given, the thing is, in that part of the world, some of those uh, Islamic groups will take any excuse you know, whether it's a, a cartoon about Muhammad or whatever, <laughs> to pillage and burn. And this is this is the biggest excuse they could have. That's uh, what I saw. Much, you know, he's caused a lot of problems for people like Bree where he lives, and these are innocent countries. But all those countries are going to explode <clears throat> with problems because of this. Who's doing that? Who did that? 
Not me. Yeah. How, how much are they going to have to pay the construction workers on that embassy? It's going to be a target for rocket attacks. Exactly. It, it, it just, I, I, I'm not, who's going to work there? Slaves? I think as long as there's fear and there's a chance of he's he's stirring the pot. ISIS, he says in his speech today, is all but decimated, and he he uh, thanked the military. Of course, he said, which of course I allowed them to be able to do. I gave them the, you know, he took the <laughs> he took all. I the don't I don't believe that, that ISIS. I think uh, the, the ISIS being decimated is only a, a, a question of uh, of measures. Uh, because the f in fact of the matter is that if there is not an ISIS right now, there's something else replacing it. You know, well, I'll be with you, or, but I, I think he wants that kind of like having these holy wars and all this crap and all this. It gives him the ability to to again tighten down the borders mm -hmm. and do all the things, build a wall and do all those things. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Mike has his hand up. Yeah, you know, you're, you're right, Al. Uh, you're right. And, you know, what he's doing is stirring up the pot, yes. And ISIS might be gone, maybe. But you don't know if they're going to regroup. Of course they are. Of course they will. Or they will. might regroup. Look, 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 what ha look what happened with, uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, the former groups, you know. Uh, we got them out of, uh, out of Iraq, and we put some of them in jail where they all got together and planned for the future. And the, the seeds of ISIS were born out of that, out of Iraq. And out exactly. Of, and we took all the weapons away from the army that they had. And those, uh, no, no, excuse me, we didn't take the weapons away from them. We fired them all and let them take their weapons. That was what happened. And they all became ISIS. You know, so whatever we do now is only going to be replaced by something else until we solve the underlying problem. And that is that I don't think that we understand as a nation that this is a religious war. And that we can't do things which are going to inflame religious zealots. We have to be very careful. We can't do business like we used to. Does that make and sense, he's, Bree? He's doing this in Israel and inciting religious zealots. Yeah, yeah. Bree, uh, do, I, yeah. do I make sense with that? Yeah, yeah, you make sense with that. We but just, this we is just, the worst uh, thing America. what were you saying, Tim? Yeah. The worst thing we've we've done in the Middle East, as Americans have done, since Bush let Iraq's infrastructure get totally destroyed. Yeah. And so everybody there hates us. Everybody hates us. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see here. Uh, yes, uh, Bree, you were saying something, and I kind of interrupted you there. <clears throat> no, uh, yeah, I was just agreeing with you, Alex. It's it's, uh, it's so it's such a quagmire that. Um, it's yeah. it's uh, right. it's really just so complex. Um, you know, I guess until you want to believe it's so simple, but uh, then reality has a way of catching up with you. Well, we're tr we're attempting to solve Mideast problems with a uh, um, with American mindset, and I'm sorry you can't do that. You know, yeah, I mean, I would I would agree with you, he, Alex. Since I've since I've lived here, yeah, I've learned. Oh, just well, I could write books uh, on just things that I totally did not understand and when I was in the states about this about this region and and I keep learning new things and newer things every day that would just blow your mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could tell you things and uh, as you sit in America, you'd be like, "Wow, I didn't know that." I guarantee you, I could tell you several things just going down. And and that would only be the surface of what I know. Yeah. Uh, so, so you know, it's amazing. Uh, so to think that uh, that Trump knows what he's doing, absolutely not. He does not know what he's doing, except he knows he's getting a lot of media coverage, and mm -hmm. it may be changing some motion. You know. Yeah. Um, let me this see. This is exactly here. what we did. Why we lost in Vietnam? We never learned our lesson from that. We didn't understand the culture. That's a good point. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that is true. And we keep making that same mistake over and over again. Uh, Alex, you know how, like, uh, sometimes you'll be working on a project, uh, like, may, I don't know, trying to fix your pipe or trying to glue something back together. At a certain point, uh, you know, you're using some tool and it's not working. So you just start banging it or, you know, the old hammer issue. 
And <laughs> and I think Trump is kind of like that. He's like, well, this tool's not working. Oh, you know, well, we've been trying to use that tool. And so he just takes out the hammer and just uh, starts beating it, mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, it's like knocking the television set. Yeah. Uh, well, geez, you know, oh, and there's the picture. It must be I hit it hard enough this time. So I think that's what he's doing. He's just trying any tool in the kit, uh, regardless of whether it's the right one or not. Right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I don't know. You know, uh, we're, uh, <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble, folks. Yeah. We really are. It's depressing. I, I stick to what I said originally when the, the night of the election. I said there will be a major disaster in this world now that Trump is president. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm being melodramatic. He is going to cause something that will be uh, to, that today will be he may, something that yeah. anything about to change. Today he may Very well great. have set in motion uh, yep. the, uh, the, 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 the tools of our demise. OK, yeah, I mean, uh, this this could be horrible. This could be horrible. The problem with this is that regular people are going to die and not just our orange dutard. Yep. That's the problem. Yeah. Hey, the whole world. Isn't, isn't there some religious fanatics behind some of this that it's want not... to bring about the Armageddon that's predicted in Revelation? Well, and yeah. They're kind of doing everything they can to create this massive war in the Middle that's, East. That's uh, quite yep. possible. That's quite yep. possible. Uh, some of the Bannon followers, maybe even Pence's people. I don't know how far right they are. I don't know about Romney. Yeah. Uh, they have a different perspective. But there are some religious people that says, let it, let it happen. Let's yep. have this arm again. Let's get it over with. Yep. Yeah. Well, who was it today? Ben, Bannon, Bannon is on a roll right now as well, man. He's, he's tearing things up Bannon, right now. Bannon's statement today was he would rather see Roy Moore. Roy Moore has more moral character than all the more moral DNA than all the Romneys combined. Uh -huh. That's what yeah. he said. Yeah. Uh, well, that makes me want to puke. Yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, I thought Norquist was dangerous. He's oh, nothing yeah. compared to Bannon. Yeah. Nothing compared to Bannon. Norquist was running our government for a while. Who was it? Yeah. Somebody yeah. put a yeah. GPS tracker on him and a couple other of those guys and have at it. Yeah. What a sniper. <laughs> How about a sniper? Oh, yeah. Okay. One, one on the Cheeto sniper. Man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, Jeez. listen, I got to play the theme and get out of here because uh, uh, Jack and Amy are next. Hey, uh, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, uh, Brian. Thank you, uh, Renee, for calling us. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Mike and Jarlene and Patrick. And of course, from Dubai, it's Bree. Thank you all. Why don't you all wave goodbye to everybody so that they can uh, have a nice picture of you waving goodbye. That's so sweet. It's so nice when they do that. I like doing that at the end of the show where everybody gets to say goodbye. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Let me uh, just uh, kill the uh, Skype here so the next show can use it. That's it. Okay, there we go. All right, and I'm uh, I'm out of here until uh, tomorrow. The uh, uh, you know intersection is next with Jack and her, and uh, then after that uh, it will be connections over most of the same gabnet at, at uh, one o'clock in the morning Eastern time. I'm Alex Bennett. See you tomorrow, same time, same station in life. And if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, bye.